Cowboy boots may be a timeless Texas tradition, but repairing them, that's something of a dying art. As Jennifer Lindgren tells us, Wayne Craig's lifelong dedication to this Lone Star craft makes him this week's Texan with character. In this 1938 storefront on East Belknap Street, Hey there, how are you? The worn down and weary are carried through the front door. So it doesn't take long? No, a couple of days. No leather too tough, no stitching too torn. Now it gets rid of the old one. Wayne Craig is in the business of healing old souls. I always enjoyed it, the before and after. There's a uh, art to it. <laughs> The before began with an apprenticeship when he was 14 years old. Tearing it apart and putting it back together. You know, finishing them and just like the old boots. I guess because I always wore boots. Tedious, time consuming work. It's an old trade, isn't it? Wayne once fixed the boots for the rock group Kiss. Got a phone call. I answered the phone and they said Kiss was in town and they, had, they needed all their soles redone because the floor was too slick. He owns his own shop today. I bet them are yours. <laughs> they don't look as beat up as they did when I brought them in here. Though. Customers like James Anderson bring in repeat business. Always been good and on time. He says you don't find many places like this anymore. I might be a half a dozen left in Fort Worth, which I used to be 20 or 30. So every time somebody retires, they just shut them down. And After building his life and his livelihood inside of this space, time can no longer wait. So yeah, it's going to be sad, leaving a lot, of, a lot of memories in here. Progress is coming right outside his window. Probably got end of this year, end of this year. Halton's going to redevelop this area. And they want to get rid of this whole building. And memories like this make it hard to look forward. Got two little girls, and, and then every year they'd get taller and taller. It won't be easy to relocate, but he plans to try. So I found some land down the street, and we're going to build a brand new one. As long as there are cowboy boots, Wayne plans to fix them. Got what I do now about eight or nine pair a day. When I get in my 70s, I'll do three pair a day. <laughs> When I get in my 90s, I'll do one pair a day. In Haltom City, Jennifer Lindgren, CBS 11 News. How about Lindgren making us cry in a cowboy story? I know. Story. Great surprises there. And guess what? The cowboy boots are not going away. That guy's going to work forever. Oh, yeah, he is. And if you could take a picture of the growth chart there, you yes. know, maybe put it on the wall of the new place, that'd be great to do. Yeah, no 